Hey everyone, it's me Oli from Retaliate, and you guys are going to really enjoy this video because I've managed to get my hands on the Battle Bus from Spawn Island. Now this is a really sick one that has all the stuff attached to it, like the stuff on the side and the things on the top, and someone managed to give it me, so huge shout out to him, his name will be in the description. So now all of you guys are going to be able to get this, it's really easy to do, I'll be showing you the steps on how to get this into your own island, and make sure you do it as soon as you can because Epic Games may patch the method on how to get it to your own island, and if they try hard enough they could patch it so it's never possible to do something like this again, so make sure you do it as soon as you can. So if you are new here, make sure you do subscribe because once season 9 comes out we're going to be dropping brand new glitches before anyone else almost every single day so make sure you do subscribe for that also make sure that you go to the item shop press into support a creator and type in retaliate and press into accept now make sure you do renew this after 14 days and once season 9 comes out before you buy the battle pass or anything make sure you re-enter my support to creator code and thanks so much to everyone that is using my code i know i plug it a lot at the moment and it's basically because it helps me out so much more than youtube does anyway let's get straight into this glitch so we're going to be loading into creative so before we go to the island where the battle buses are you're going to have to to do the phone on any island glitch. Now if you do know how to do this just skip forward like a minute or so and if you don't I'll try and explain it as quick as I can. So basically you just want to enter any of your islands. Once you enter you want to make sure they have no spawn pads on your island. I've also got one of the battle buses here so I'm going to delete it so you guys do know I get it fresh. And basically make sure you've got no spawn pads. You want to go into your settings and you want to change the respawns to one. And once you've done that I'm pretty sure that's all you have to do. So you just want to start the game. Now you're going to see the game starting and all we're going to do is we're going to respawn. You're then going to see there's a countdown from 15 seconds and what you're going to do is you're going to return to the hub once that countdown going on and you're going to try and enter the rift the second it gets to one second so you want to enter it almost the exact same time that it's finishing so i'll try and explain it if you don't get it just watch my video on it but basically we're going to respawn there we go we've got the victory royale thing and we're going to press into escape once this thing comes up so you can see it says 11 10 and you're going to press into escape and you're going to press into back to hub now it's doing the countdown make sure you're doing the countdown in your head so you know when it is and you want to enter at the same time that it finishes So as you can see, I think it's worked this time. So it said traveling to island and also said restore. So this may take two or three attempts, but you can see now we're dropping to the ground. And if you drop to the ground, that means it's worked. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on the pause menu, press it to back to hub. If it doesn't work the first time, you just have to do it again. Sometimes it will take like three attempts. But basically, you should be able to fly now. So as you can see, you can fly. And once you've done this, you're going to head to one of these rifts. So I made this island and you just want to enter in this island code here. So you just want to press into select island. The code will be in the description. So here we go, it's loaded. And once it has, you're just going to enter it. So as you can see, once you load in, we've got all these unreleased items so you guys that have been subscribed to the channel already will know that all of these items you can actually copy and take to your own island most of you probably already have most of these we've got the dinosaurs and stuff like that i'm only going to be showing you guys how to get the battle bus but you're just going to do the same steps of anything but the battle bus is it's a bit more difficult because you don't know when you've actually done the glitch so as you can see after about 10 seconds your phone will appear and you want to do the thing where you select two things and you copy at the same time by swapping to your pickaxe however this is kind of difficult because you're going to see when you copy stuff so if i copy these two things you're going to see it's disappeared so it's kind of difficult to tell so you're just going to have to try and listen to it and see if it's worked but basically you're going to select two things with multi-select also before i show you guys that's the old battle bus over there you guys might have that one but that one's the one that has nothing on it these are the really cool ones that have all these attachments to it so these ones are so much more rare to get and we are the first people on youtube showing you guys how to do this so make sure you do subscribe but anyway all you want to do is you want to select two of them so i'm going to select the small one as well you can resize them once you get them to your island so i'm going to select these two with multi-select and you're going to swap to your pickaxe and like a millisecond after swapping to your pickaxe you're going to press into copy so let's try so there we go, I think I've done it. If you want to test it, all you want to do is press anywhere. And as you can see, it did randomly place. So it has worked this time. And all you're going to do is you're going to head to this rift. Now, once you're at the rift, you're going to go in it. And the second you go in it, you're going to spam place. Now, it will paste tons of them. But you're going to have to spam it if you want it to work. So we're going to spam it. And there you go, we've placed a lot. Now, if you do accidentally cover the spawn, you can actually select two stuff and then just cut it. So as you can see, if you cut it, it will just move the position. And basically, you're going to try and find them. So I've got one here that's in the ground. And also, these ones are really similar to the ones that are over here. The only one that's different with this is that it has a balloon on the top. And it's also not destroyed at the front. So at least we got this one at the end of the day. But basically, you're going to multi-select again. So we're going to select this one and this one. And then you're going to do the same thing with the pickaxe. So you're going to try and copy it. So I think it's worked this time. I'm going to try placing. So there we go. It does actually place. And all you want to do is you want to select the island that you want to do with. So I want to do with this island and all you're going to do is enter it and spam place again so let's do it so i tried spamming place and nothing happened so i'd recommend if this happens to you just go into your inventory go to devices and you want to put down a player spawner so i'm going to put down a player spawner here and i'm going to try again so i'm going to try again so i'm going to select this one and this one so i'm going to swap to the pickaxe and press into copy so i'm going to test it and as you can see it places then you're going to go to the island that you selected and you're going to go in and spam place so let's try 
So there you go, it has worked this time. And as you can see, we've got tons of them. So all you want to do is you want to copy it. And again, it does go invisible. So don't worry about it. It will go invisible until you paste it. And we've got one there. So I don't know where the other ones have gone. I'm going to go into phase mode and see if it's dropped into the ground. And there we go. So they may actually drop into the ground. If that happens to you, just press into phase mode and then just copy it and paste it above ground. So there we go, we've got it now. And you can actually resize these, do whatever you want to them. These just look so sick compared to the other ones. They have all these lights on them and stuff. They just look really cool. Again, we are the first people to actually upload this and it is in such high demand. So that is the benefit of subscribing to our channel. There's a lot of benefits of subscribing. And the reason we're growing so fast at the moment is because we are uploading all this brand new content. So if you are new here, make sure you do subscribe. Also, I'm going to be gone the entire summer and I wanted to still upload for you guys. So I don't have a powerful laptop at the moment. So today I've just ordered a Razer Blade Pro and it cost me a lot of money, but I did it for you guys because I know that you're going to want content in the summer and I don't want to just not upload the entire summer. So there's going to be a lot of content coming this summer as well. And also the video quality should be even better. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy this. If you did, make sure you do give the video a like and subscribe if you are new. And make sure you do use my support to create a good after the Season 9 update drops. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.